The Good, The Bad, and The Funny by Kitty Cadaver. Chapter 4 Judy Get Your Fun As she finished eating her meal, Judy suddenly realized how quiet and boring it was now with Roger gone. She wondered where he went and if she would honestly be able to find him on this huge estate. She also wondered if he would be upset enough to leave her here with no way home. You blew it now, Judith, she thought dejectedly, and pushed her empty plate over to where Roger still sat. Wiping her hands on her napkin, Judy was able to stand and go search for him when Mrs. Keene sudden, suddenly seemed to materialize out of nowhere and was standing behind Roger's chair. Now with her here, Judy felt all the more uncomfortable about the entire situation. After all, Miss Keene is Roger's friend and no doubt by yelling at Roger like she did, Judy without a doubt offended the hostess of the party. Hoping to play it cool and hoping that Mrs. Keene didn't hear or see the blow up, Judy gave a nervous grin and remarked, Great food, Mrs. Keene. I must give my compliments to the chef. Mrs. Keene nodded and without missing a beat asked, Where is Roger? It is not like him to finish eating ribs. Normally that boy could put away an entire pig. Land sakes, I do hope that the food was to his liking. I mean, I would like him to join the next party I have and hope that bad cooking wouldn't be the cause for him to vanish on me. Nervously, Judy just shrugged and flicked at an imaginary piece of lint on her skirt. Part of her thought it would be best to lie about what really happened to Roger, but her principles got the best of her. Mrs. Keene did have the right to know what happened to him and what he was trying to do to one of her workers. Taking in a breath to calm herself before she started spewing out how upset she really was with Roger, Judy answered, 